Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, but most importantly, wake up, okay? My name is Staffan Liebeck and I'm coming to you from Thailand, actually, and I am extremely excited and I will uh, let you guys know why I am so excited, okay? For a few months ago, uh, I got introduced to Connect and what Connect takes out to do, you know. It took me some time to start understanding what it is. Okay, let's be honest. Why? Because for some reason, I was of the... How do you say? Of the feeling and uh, I got the information that, you know, what I'm coming into, it's, you know, something that is, you know, done and it's going to roll and, you know, it's ready to tap in and start networking. And then I couldn't just understand why things took time. And I think we all on this call, you know, we have the same experience, especially if you've been with us for some time already, okay? But something kept me staying. And not only staying, being very firm on that I'm in the right place at the right time and things will sort themselves out, okay? And you guys met a few days ago, you met Jonathan Gibbs, okay? And I think as me, you got very enthusiastic and you know you got the confirmation that hey i'm not a fool i'm here for a reason and the same thing i got and I, not only because of jonathan but also other people that we've been introduced to we've been spending a lot of time guys the last weeks okay the last two weeks learning about them and learning about the abilities that these people have and I can tell you guys that tonight, just before this call, an hour ago, I hang up again with the gentleman that will be introduced shortly here, okay? And Jonathan Gibbs. And I can tell you guys, we are at the right place, okay? We are the fantastically right place doing something that not only will change, you know, the network industry as we know it, I believe. But also, you know, decentralization, the world, basically, as we see it. It's a, I know it's a bold statement, but I have seen that we have the resources. And it's not enough to have only the money. It sounds very good. Okay, here's the money, go and do it. No, you need the right people, human resources. And I got to know Mr. Steve Liddell that we will bring on here tonight. What is it now? Is it two weeks ago? He can correct me. It starts to be maybe it's only one and a half week. And I got straight ahead impressed about it. Why? Because he comes from the industry as me. He knows what networking is, but he also has experienced similar problems that we get through, the issues. And more of it, he has the keys to solve it. Together with what we have now, the captain, as we may call it, of Connect, Mr. Steve Little, that Please, could you come with me on the call? I am very, very optimistic that things will not only be done, but in the right way. Okay? So please take notes and so on and get back to us with questions later on. Okay? Pass it on. And I am sure, guys, we are at the right place at the right time. That's for sure. So without any more further ado... Mr. Steve Little, are you here with us? I am, Stefan. Can you hear me okay, my friend? Yes, I can. And uh, we are so blessed to have you with us here on our call. Well, thank you. Uh, I can see the count. We're at 170 people from all over the globe right now and growing. And it's so, actually more uh, because there are translations going on also. So, yeah, it's probably maybe 400. Wow. That's, that's very, very impressive. And so... Uh, first of all, I've got to take my hat off uh, initially here to uh, the leadership, Stefan and Nigel and Michael and Aaron, those guys. I have been on the call with them numerous times uh, over the last couple of weeks. And uh, in fact, many, many times. Uh, it, it, it's, uh, it's kind of interesting, these time zone things, you know. Uh, I mean, I know like right now we've got people where it's late, late, late at night and early in the morning. And uh, for me, it's it's fairly, it's actually 10 o'clock, uh, roughly my time. I come to you from Dallas, Texas today, but um, I am, and actually Fort Worth, I, it, you know, everybody thinks of Dallas, but technically I'm on the Fort Worth side of the Metroplex. But, uh, you know, Stefan and Nigel and everybody, they wanted me to come on and just say hi, uh, greet the group, share with you my feelings and and my why I'm here actually. And, and so, 
uh, this morning, due to the nature of this group, uh, I, I'm going to share with you a little bit more about my personal background than I normally would. Because, you know, in our world, it, it, you always um, you want to have credibility. But the flip side is you don't ever want to sound like you're bragging. And that's always been hard for me to kind of put that out there, what I've done. And, and you know, uh, I was one of those guys. I was raised in a great home, had wonderful parents, and never. Um, Always had all the things we needed, but a lot of what I wanted did not have, you know. Uh, and, and so I, I grew up hungry. Okay. I grew up wanting more. I was in church two or three times a week. I got strong values from there, you know, and, and, um, uh, you, you know, love God and love, uh, you know, I just love winning. And, and, and so uh, what happened though, let me kind of tell you my story and then I'm going to, I'm going to bring it up full speed and share with you the vision of what I see here at Connect, why I'm here. Uh, we're going to acknowledge right now there are some challenges in front of us. Okay, so let me say that right up front. There, there are some challenges. And in fact, let me just say right up front, I was a rep first here at Connect. Okay. And um, because of my background, right, the, the founder, the visionary, a good longtime friend of mine said, hey, come in and help us. And um, so but, but I'm, I jump ahead a little bit there. So let me, let me just kind of back up a second. Uh, you know, what happened to me is when, when I was 19 years old, just a young guy. Uh, I found a company that today is known as Primerica. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard of that in the international markets. It's it's primarily a, a United States-based company, but they were in the financial services business. They sold term insurance and mutual funds. And I was a young man to get in that game, but I did. And and as I looked back 11 years later, uh, when, when I decided to, to move on to other things, out of 2 million people, we'd set seven national records. It was all young as this, young as that. But man, it was exciting because I learned I had some skills that I didn't know I had. It gave me a platform uh, to, to grow as a person and to develop some leadership and sales skills and training skills and recruiting and people development skills. And it was so exciting, man. We we, we made, I'm, I was making more money than anybody I knew from where I came from. And uh, it, it was very, very exciting, but it was in the financial services business. And that, that was, it wasn't fun from that regard. And so as a young man at 31, I decided to move on to other things. And I, I found myself in the network marketing space. And from there, man, it was like a, a freedom because we didn't have all those licenses and all the regulatory stuff that goes along with that financial services world. And, and, and what happened then, uh, Stefan, as you know, I, I told you the story once that, you know, we, we built, uh, I, I've now built, I always say we, and people tell me, say, Steve, people get confused when you say we. I guess I, but we we all know it's with the team. None of us are great without our team, okay? But, you know, we, I, whatever, I built uh, five teams, well over 10,000 people, uh, once well in excess of 150,000 people. And, um, I, you know, I, I, I've never had a job since I was 19. Uh, I, I love that part of my story. And, and uh, but, you know, as I look back on the videotapes of my business life, what happened is, uh, you know, there is, there's been some big wins, what most people would call big wins. There's also been a few losses, you know, along the way. Uh, but when I look back, those wins, they all had three things in common. One, I was at the right place at the right time. Two, I was with the right people. And that's very, very important, that one right there. And then the third thing was I brought the right kind of energy, activity, work, focused effort, whatever you want to call it. Brought the right stuff so I could participate in the goodies. And, um, you know, it, it's paid off. Uh, I, I love the industry where you can go out there and recruit somebody and teach them what to do and get an override off whatever they do for the rest of your life. And, and once you've done that, you know, you're kind of ruined from ever having a job again uh, uh, because it, you're, you become unemployable. But what happened then is uh, both of them, something I think is pretty cool, is both of my sons followed me into business. Um, the, the reason that, that that hits me particularly strong is because my kids went to a private Christian school and uh, there was a lot of successful parents there. They, they, there's a lot of their friends that had successful companies and businesses. And my, my, my sons pointed out to me one day that not one of their friends wanted to or did they follow their parents into business. Every single one of them wanted to do something else. Whereas both of my boys wanted to come with me full time the day they got out of school because, and, and I think it was because of the lifestyle. You know, we always had the freedom to come home and throw the ball with them. I went to all the games. 
Heck, I was the announcer at some of the football games over the years at the stadium. And uh, in fact, many of them. Uh, and, and so we just had a great life, great family life. And, and you know, as I look back at the industry, though, it's, it's been very, very good to me. Made well north of $16 million in commissions. I know some of the guys on this phone have done, or of this Zoom call have done more than that. But, you know, uh, that's still pretty strong. Seven figures in a year, many times. And, but I, I love the freedom you can have from this industry, but there's nothing better. But, you know, I also, I hate that side of it to where they can mess your reputation up or they make a bad decision. You know, when you've built a big team, more than most can't do it once. Very few can do it twice. But when you've done it many times, you've got the experiences of having your heart broken, right? I don't know if anybody out there, I can't see all of y'all right now, but you, you know, you get the experience of having your heart broken and, and the scars. And, you know, one of the things about it, you know, many people, what happens is they can't, they can't stay excited. And I don't know what, it, I don't know what it is about me, Nigel, but you know, God put something down inside of me that I'm just kind of never satisfied. I've always got that fire in the belly. I always want to do more. I always want to be the best I can be. And, and so that's why part of why I'm here today. Um, I, I, you know, what happened is because we had been through that entrepreneurial route, my sons and I, we had, we were involved with the solar business. And this is where I met Wright Thurston, the founder and visionary of what we're doing today. And, and what, what happened is the, um, the, the tax laws, the credits changed here in America, and it kind of killed that, um, that business model. And so what happened, I had two sons, both adults. One of them had a, was married and had a wife that was pregnant. I knew as I had a lot of weight on my shoulders, Stefan, you know, what happens when you got sons that have followed you into business and they're counting on you to lead them to the promised land, that's a whole lot more weight on your shoulders than just taking care of you, you know? And, and, and so what happened is I, I found myself back in the financial services business. It's a long story, I won't go into it right now, but the bottom line is, I knew I needed something that was real, something secure, something that we could help them provide for their families and build a career and something that would take care of them till the day we die. And so we did that and we landed there. And in the last six years, we built an agency that spans 31 states. We've had a lot of success. Um, I'm making, have been making up to right now, a very, very high six figure income, knocking on the door of seven figures, uh, just shy of that right this, right this minute, okay? And, um, or 30 days ago, you know, whatever it was. <laughs> and so what, what happened though, is uh, uh, we had been involved with, the first time I heard of Bitcoin, first time ever, I was in Wright Thurston's vehicle. Uh, and the guy, there's a guy telling us about Bitcoin and it was $100 per coin at the time. Now, now get this, $100 a coin. And what I did, I started doing my research, you know? And all the experts, guys like Warren Buffett said, it's rat poison. Guys like Jamie Dimes, Diamond saying, uh, it's worthless. All these experts were saying, it's a piece of crap. It's for the illegal market. Only people that do illegal stuff participate with it. And I'll tell you something. There's got to be some of you out there hearing me right now that have heard something similar. I'll tell you something. Those experts cost me tens of millions of dollars. Because I pushed it away and I, I just, I, I pushed it away and I kept hearing every now and then, you know, I hear about Bitcoin going up, going up. I kept thinking, well, they're all going to jail or they're all doing, you know, I kept thinking those kinds of things. And then what happened is some guys, and by the way, I did ultimately buy some along the way, but not near as quick as I should have. But what happened then, you know, I've done right for years, as I mentioned, and I, I he would talk this crypto language to me because when we went into the financial services arena, he went over into Bitcoin mining. And I kind of jokingly thought of it as monopoly money, okay? Play money. But then what happened is I watched him make an absolute fortune from the sideline. And somewhere along the way, I decided it was way too big for me not to learn more. So I started digging in, digging deep. Now, I, I will tell you one thing I did that was smart. I started mining green way back when, okay? I did start mining green. And, and so... Uh, when I met Jonathan Gibb, as, as I hope you guys, uh, most of you probably saw his presentation a couple of days ago. I've watched it, and, and Jonathan is a total stud, and I'm so excited he's here. In fact, uh, when, I, when I met him, I told him if he did what I thought he was going to do, he was going to be my new best friend in life, And because uh, uh, I've got a boatload of green. But, uh, you, you know, so, but at the, at the stage of life I'm in right now, man, what I want to do is, 
make bigger impact and help more people. But also from a business standpoint, I want to do something fun and exciting in the financial services business. You know, it's kind of an old stale, stodgy business. You know, Aaron, it's, it's, it's not that fun. It's, it's you know, stale and stodgy. And, and, and so uh, as we begin to look at this, uh, the connect in the crypto market and what uh, connect was doing, we decided the opportunity was just way too big to pass up. So what I did is when I talked to Wright here just earlier uh, last month about, you know, you know, what could happen here. And he asked me to come on and help. And, you know, what we did, we basically put our financial services business on autopilot. OK, uh, I mean, complete autopilot and we're, we're rocking and rolling. So let me just kind of show you what um, what I see. I'm going to share my screen now. Let me see here. What happened is just recently I bought one of those new Ford Broncos and, uh, you know, Ford was doing this thing in off road um, uh, and off rodeo, what they called it. And they had different locations around the country. And and we were going to go do one down in Austin, Texas. They provide the Broncos and and they. Um, Anyway, it's a lot of fun, but my son, Austin, on the right, Stephen on the far left, you know, see, Stephen is 6'2", 255. I always thought myself as 6'2", you know, and, and uh, but, but anyway, but, but that is proof it was in me. Okay, anyway, but, uh, Stefan, what, what happened there is, is uh, we decided to go up to Moab, Utah in early March for this thing and then go on up and go north over there to Salt Lake and that part of the world to visit right and see the connect team. And, and this is where I met Jonathan Gibb too. Uh, by the way, we ended up, uh, our family shared a, a big dinner one night with, um, uh, with right and his family. And so, but what happened is we went up there and I wanted to see the, see the big picture and, um, <clears throat> you know, connect uh, you know, they always talked about blockchain projects that we love. And, and, uh, as I was studying the industry, one of the things I knew, we talked about right place, right time. You know, th this is a little graph. It talks about the adoption of cryptocurrency versus the internet. And uh, if you look at this, the adoption of cryptocurrency is far outpacing any technology it's ever been in the history of the world. Okay. Uh, here we are right here. Obviously, in this graph is six, eight, 10 months old, but we are projected that when, when, when the crypto industry has a billion users, that's about when the internet had half a billion. So we're blown it away by leaps and bounds. You go back to that right place, right time thing. And then I, I've got a buddy, and, and I don't want this to be a political statement of any kind. It's not intended that way. But I've got a buddy that's also in the financial services business, and I've been telling him about crypto. And he's been, if I've got one, Nigel, if I've got one link to an a anti-crypto article on my phone from this guy, I've got 50. OK, I mean, every day or two, he was sending me uh, an article about how everything wrong with crypto. And um, and I was telling him the opposite side of that. And then one day he sends this to me and his wife says, you better go talk to Steve because what's going on? You know, the the truckers up in Canada. I, I don't know if you guys knew about that big strike happening up there. I'm getting some nods. But what happened is they ended up the government said, look, if you contributed to those truckers, they froze their assets. They froze their assets in the bank. And then this thing right here, the, the, the Russians, you know, the big countries out there were doing the same thing to the Russians, freezing their assets. And if you, if you look down at the bottom paragraph here, this says a few years ago, nobody imagined banks would be weaponized against innocent, peaceful citizens. But now that governments have crossed the Rubicon, crypto is the only sensible place to store assets that require near liquidity. This article, now remember, this guy that sent me this, sent me this article three, four weeks ago. He sent me 50 anti-crypto articles. He said, Steve, we got to get together. Since he sent me that article, he's put a large, large six-figure number into crypto. And he's also purchased over $500,000 worth of our nodes. Okay. So when you understand the big picture, see my business, when I've got the financial services business, it's failing stodgy, but also nobody wants to talk to you. OK, this business here, it's fun. It's exciting. It's energizing. You ask anybody if they ever do anything with crypto, they light up, man. They light up. Most of them light up like a pinball machine. Right. So anyway, but, you know, so as I look at this thing and I, I want to share with you a few highlights. OK. For some of you, you the next five or 10 minutes, you're going to say, yeah, I get that. I know that, Steve. 
but I want to share with you why connect, why I'm here and the big picture. Okay. The, the, the big picture is we're building a community, uh, the largest blockchain community on planet earth. And it's all blockchain with a purpose. It's not about pumping and dumping a coin. So I told you, I started mining green back when, and it was, it all started around renewable energy. Um, and, and I'm going to be the first to admit to you, I didn't understand everything about it. Okay. But one thing I did know, Wright Thurston had a vision about what it could be. His vision made sense to me, even though I didn't understand every piece of it. And then this guy came along who you heard a couple of days ago. And I, I love Jonathan Gibbs. I love his vision. One of the biggest things I love about him is he's won before. See, winners win. Winners win. Jonathan Gibbs is a winner. And the vision he's got for green, I know we're going to take that to the finish, the, the finish land, the finish line or the promised land, whatever you want to say. Yeah. Uh, but, but, you know, how does it work? This is kind of the first diagram I ever saw about green. And I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't understand every piece of that. But then, you know, when I ask people, I say, look, do you, are you the guy that opens the refrigerator door to see if the light goes off when you close it? I, I mean, uh, I flipped the switch over there on the wall. I don't understand everything about current, but I know the light comes on, right? And I, I knew this vision kind of made sense. And they told me about centralized versus decentralized. Again, I didn't understand every single detail, but I knew the picture on the right made a lot more sense than the picture on the left long-term. And then, I don't know about the first time you ever saw a fax machine work. I was blown away. How can I stick a piece of paper in on this side and it comes out a thousand miles away just like I'm looking at right here? By the way, you, you do know who the greatest salesman, salesman in the world was, right? It was the guy that sold the first fax machine. Because, I mean, who are you going to send it to, right? Anyway, uh, but... You know, you put the paper in the fax, it converts to data. The data converts it back, and then it goes back to the fax machine. And you got paper on the other side. Well, that concept right there, and I, I know Jonathan touched on this the other day, but you know, it went from fax machines to cell phones, and then I know we all get that. We used to those of us old enough to remember those phones that were mounted in the kitchen and had a curly cord, and you had to stand there and. And we all remember that, right? This idea right here was revolutionary. Well, if you let your mind's eye envision what the future might be, it just makes sense that this is very, very, very possible. And even if you don't understand it all, go back to that fax machine example, the cell phone example, and then this. It just makes sense. And so green... Is going to be the first company to take electricity and invert it to digital electricity. And my, 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 the power of that is just, you know, Stefan, it, it, it's, it's, it's mind blowing when you think about it. And, you know, we got this is being built for the last seven years. So some of you I know you're sitting here right now and say, yeah, seven years, I understand that. But Steve, I got a problem. We're going to fix the problems. OK, we're going to get back to that in a second. But stick with me here. OK, stick with me. Um, you know what? The, what they've done is they built a model where the average guy and gal, the average person that's not a tech-savvy guru, can mine cryptocurrency. You can provide a node on, on, on the network, okay? In, in, in an analogy I like on that to convey what it is, because some people don't get that, right? Because I didn't get that stuff for a long time. But a way to understand that is imagine you're building a, a cell phone community and you got to have the cell towers the nodes work kind of like the cell towers okay that's kind of the way it works and what they've done when i first started mining green way back when uh what happened is uh michael it would uh um you had to have a a, a physical box okay i mean hardware and then later it got outdated and you had to upgrade in the power cost was well now it's, it's evolved to a point to where it's revolutionary compared to what it was. In fact, it looks, it's, it's like one of these things compared to what we had, those are the phones I described way back when. Okay, and, and so they, they've got a design where your grandma could do it. And then because of the vision of our, our founder, he created this family, a, a, an ecosystem, if you will, where they had kind of all help each other. And a major piece of this puzzle is Switch. Switch 
When I first heard this concept, I said, that's brilliant. I'd had cryptocurrency stuff and, and I couldn't spend it. I mean, it was a very, it was a difficult, difficult thing to send it here and do this and convert it over here. And, and when I heard this concept right here, I said, my gosh, I got to participate in that. I know that's going to work. And, um, uh, but, but what it was basically is you can convert uh, fiat currency, you can convert cryptocurrency to fiat. And, and so you could store it, you could send it, switch it, spend it. Think of it like this. You could go mine green, like just about 10 minutes before this call started, I went and, and I checked my, my green account. And you know what? I, I mined many, many tens of thousands of green over the last 24 hours. Well, we're not that far away from being, I mean, weeks, probably not months, from being able to send that straight to your switch card, boom. You can store it there, you can send it, you can switch it, you can go spend it. I could take that green I mined yesterday and go down to the store and buy a new shirt, buy lunch, whatever. Guys, that's transformative compared to where this has been. And if you've ever had, if you've ever had cryptocurrency in days gone by, you know that's the case. And so we're a cutting edge company on the borderline of changing some incredible things. One of the things I love about this is Kathy Roberts over to the left here, a good friend of mine. She was the president of Discover Bank way back in the day when the Discover card was doing its thing, okay? They were the only card, the only credit card on the planet that gave a reward for using the card. It was revolutionary. And, and so I love her being at the, at the helm of the switch team. And they're going to use Visa. You got a platform of 55 million people day one. Every, every country in the land will acknowledge and use, you'll be able to use that card. Powerful, powerful thing. Then you've got Blue. Blue, you've got access. You know, they, they, they feel like they've reimagined the healthcare system. Everybody knows it's messed up all over the world. But what they're going to do, they got board certified physicians, nurses, and everything like that to give you access 24-7 and then a lot of other things. But I'm just going to highlight a couple and then show you, show you, but drill down on a few of them here. Liberty. Um, I didn't know what Liberty was really all about, but one of the things I loved about it is they've got this phone, this the satellite phone, again, worldwide, where it's totally secure, where you've got access to communicate with your family friends, loved ones, business associates, and nobody can track it. You know what? In today's world, that's kind of a big dadgum deal, right? I mean, that's a big deal. People want security and privacy in today's world. And then Element. When I first heard this, I thought, man, that's, that is going to work. Yeah. Um, you know, Scott Lemieux is the president. He was the co-star of the Discovery Channel's Jungle Gold. I don't know if you guys, do you guys know what uh, the Discovery Channel is? Okay. So, cool. So, um, he, he was co-star there. And then Todd Hoffman, he's been the face of Gold Rush, uh, Discovery Channel's number one program for eight years. Well, he, he was sitting there and they were talking and they said, you know, it, it's kind of a travesty what happens when you go in there and mine these mine gold. I said, what do you mean? I said, well, they go in there and they, they wipe out. They, de they, don't, they don't change an area. They decimate it. They completely wipe it out. And then most of these companies don't do not do any kind of reclamation. You know, they go in and they 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 completely wipe out the water systems. And um it, it's terrible for the community. So what they said we're gonna do is we're gonna go in there and capture the leases, the gold mine leases, and you can ascertain the value that's in the ground. Now, now think with me a second. Again, you got a, a little future vision. You can go on the ground and determine what's there ahead of time. So why do we have to go in there and wipe out the area? Why don't we go in there and with the values that we know are there, digitize it and let people participate in the value that's there without wiping the place out? And then we also could go in there and do great things for the community. We can put in the internet, get fresh water wells, and um, things of that nature. In other words, really become a, a resource for that community versus wiping it out. And man, if you think about that, that is huge. Right now, Element has got billions of dollars of gold mines. I don't know if it's officially locked up, but it's that close to being locked up right now to where they can go in there and do those exact kind of things. So again, and I'm, what I'm trying to do is share with you the vision. We're, we're talking about blockchain 
with a purpose. Okay. And so they what they did, they also blockchain simplified. They said, look, we're gonna simplify this for you so your grandma can do it. There's courses within an academy within the uh, Connect system to teach you all about crypto for those that don't know much about it. And there's a lot that don't know. Right now, about 5% of the world has adopted crypto, 5%. And, and so what happens then, it's very simple. You guys all know this already. You sign up for free, you agree to the code of conduct, you buy your, buy your software, and then you invite your friends to do it, to, to join the team. By the way, very important, you got to do it through Connect. If you want to get paid on it, you got to do it through Connect, okay? So don't go straight to the one of those companies and do it. You want to do it with and through Connect. That way you're always paid on it down the road. But as we all know right now, there's there's six that you can buy uh, nodes in as we speak. They go up a little bit every time somebody buys one. Usually it's about a dollar. and uh, But that piece isn't quite automated yet. So it happens in chunks. Every, every week or two, it goes up a little bit. And so, so you know, what, what I wanted to do then guys is is share with you a little bit about um why i i think we're going to win big okay uh number one i do understand i gonna say right up front we know there's been some challenges okay um but we, well, nobody's saying there hasn't been because there have been uh and that's part of why right asked jonathan gibbs to come on board that's why he asked me to come on board and, um, but you know, I, I know there's been also some, some dates that have been missed. Let me just say that right up front. Okay. You know, compensation as an example, you know, we got the node reward bonuses and, and those are huge. In fact, those may be the biggest part of our compensation. I, I really believe if you participate in that upper tier of that bonus system, that, that may, that may be, um, well, I, I don't want a future forecast. I haven't really seen the numbers, but my gut, my head says it's going to be huge. And, and but, you know, April 20 is supposed to be when that thing is paid out for the first time. I want to say two or three things about that. Number one, the data is all secured. It's blockchain. I know for a fact the data is there. I also know for a fact we're going to go back and make up like December's business is going to be paid for December. January, we paid for January. February, we paid for February. But I'm not sure it's all going to be made up on April 20, okay? If they missed the April 20 date, know this. That doesn't mean we have to wait till May 20. Maybe you wait till May 20 to get April's check, but maybe it's 10 days or two weeks later that you get, you know, November, December. It's, everybody follow me? And by the way, I'm just trying to be truthful. I'm trying to set an expectation of, um, we know there's been challenges, but they're going to be fixed. Now, one of the things, let me just share this with you. One of the things I'm uh, amazed with are the resources that are available. Okay. The, the resources available to us to make things right are tremendous. We got a team of developers that measures in dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens, 130 plus guys. Okay. On the development team. However, most of them have been hired in the last 60 to 90 days. And, and so um, you got to get them up to speed a little bit. It takes a little time. The, the thing I want to tell you is that, by the way, most companies, it, it, you know, if you've got a developer, you got one, two, maybe three guys. I said dozens and dozens and dozens at our disposal. And that is true. We've also got the budgets to make it work. So you got to have a little vision. You got to have a little faith. Um, and I know that everyone here probably, I know these are the leaders. And so I can see Stefan's face right here. And um, Stefan, I know that um, we all understand that, you know, I hate to say this, but if you're a pioneer, you know, sometimes you lose one of your friends to the Indians, you know, uh, you, you know, <laughs> yes. you're, you're going, you're going through the woods. The first guy's through, you got to, you got to clear the trees, right? Steve, the next Steve, let me help you a bit because I know, I know what it is. Uh, I just want to make it very clear because we have trust that we build the business on. It's all trusted leaders on the call. We all know the challenges that been, and uh, that's why I am so excited because I remember you telling me, us actually, it was, uh, you know, Aaron, Nigel and all the other guys were on the call and you more or less excused yourself wanting to improve even the plan, how it's paid, the possibility of it. And uh, it's very important that it gets done right. And why I am so happy about having you, Steve and, and Jonathan on board is that you guys understand 
what has not only been wrong, but also what needs to be done. And that's, yeah. I'm very grateful for having people like you guys on board. Well, so, Stephanie, if I did anything today, the reason I want to cover as much of my career as I did is I want you to know that I get it, okay? Yeah. Over the years, I meant to mention this, over the years, I made over a million dollars consulting in the industry. I never yeah. once said, hey, I'm a consultant. But what happened is because of our field success, somebody would bring me in and say, hey, we need you to help us. We'll pay you X, you know? And, and so I've been in the boardroom of dozens of companies. I, I do know what needs to happen. I also know I'm a rep first. So you guys know, I was a rep first at Connect. I mean, I was recruiting and building a, a small team. We we're going kind of slow at first, uh, doing it on the side, kind of below the radar, uh, back before we went to go see Wright and all the guys up in Utah, okay? And, and so I know the problems you've had because I've had the same exact challenges. Um, and here's what I do know. We're going to get them fixed. But what I also know is this. This is the frustrating part. You can't move at the speed of thought. You got to move at the speed of business, okay? I would love, if I could move at the speed of thought, this thing would be zinging by tomorrow morning, okay? But it won't be. There's code that's got to be written. And, and then the good developers, they check the code, and they check the code, they check the code. And, and then, you know, because when it comes out, they want it right. But what I will tell you is this. We are at the right place at the right time. Now, you say, well, Steve, what should I do? Should I wait? Should I go? Well, let me tell you this. Later this morning, I've got a guy meet with a good friend of mine, and I think he's buying 200 nodes this morning. Okay, this morning. And uh, wait, I said 200,000. I should correct that statement. Yeah, um, $200,000 worth of nodes this morning. That tells you what I'm doing, okay? Uh, I am engaged, okay? Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm taking care of company stuff first, and then, but every now and then I do do one of these kind of things on the side and um, excited about what's going forward. I've got two sons. They're also full-time. They're engaged. They're, they're blowing and going. We're all working for the same thing. And the you said one that... thing, Steve, uh, sorry, sorry for uh, getting in between because I think it's so important that they understand, uh, all leaders on the call understand what I have understood uh, the last 10 days, basically. And that is that you don't only understand what needs to be done. You also understand what needs to be in place in order for it to be fair for people. Because you said something also about that we're going to make sure that we, the leader's interests are protected. Absolutely. You know, uh, let me just say this. I don't think, I know that I know that I know if your interests aren't protected, it doesn't work long term. Okay. And, and, as I mentioned, I, I gave you my background so you would know that I know that. Okay. And, and to me, um, I always build long, I always play long term, always. And, and so, and for some guys in our industry, long term is six months. That's not the way I think. Okay. My, my first gig, I mentioned earlier, I worked from age 19 to age 31. You know, uh, th that, you know, 10 plus years is kind of long term. Right. And, and so, that's the way I think, that's the way I build, and that's the way we're going to build Connect, is for this company to be there to deliver for you. So I'm going to ask for a little grace on the part of the company and give us just a little bit of time to get things fixed. I will tell you this, though. We're going to have this thing running smooth as a whistle. You're going to get paid every day on time like it's supposed to come out. You're going to, those bonuses are going to be paid. Um, those node reward pools are going to be paid like they're supposed to be paid. And when it comes out, it's going to be right. You're going to be able to look and be a, it's going to make sense to you. And you're going to be able to tell, hey, I got paid, but I'm supposed to get paid. And you can quit worrying about it. You're just going to get it. Does that make and, sense? And like you said, Steve, being able to track your business, which means that you need to see where it comes from. <laughs> That's exactly right. That is exactly right. And so, uh, Stefan, I really don't have anything else this morning that I want to share. I just want the main thing I want the guys to know is this. Number one. Uh, we, we're, we're building the largest blockchain, blockchain community on earth. And it's guys like us. I don't mean Steve Little Corp. I mean, I mean I'm one of you, okay? Um, it's guys like us that make that happen. We, we are like the irrigation to the crops. We bring the water to the crops. When we do what we do, connect and all the different blockchains will flourish.
Does that make sense? And so that's the way I see what we do. We bring the water to the crops. We, the people, the marketing team, each one of you, your leaders, I know your value. I understand it. We appreciate you. And we're going to build something that you can be very, very proud of uh, long term. This is going to be one of those things you tell your grandkids about. That's what it's going to be. It's going to be one of these things that, yeah, let me tell you something. I was right place, right time. You know, God bless me. I just have to be the right place, right time. I brought the right kind of energy and look what happened. Okay. And so um, with no further ado, Stefan, I think uh, I'm good. That's kind of the message I wanted to bring to the team today. I want to tell them they, they've got a tremendous group of leaders. Let me just say this too, as we wrap up here, your leadership team, the guys I've been on these calls with, they fight for you. Okay. They fight for, for you and what's right. And so I want you to know that we respect them tremendously um, and they are good people and we're going to deliver for you as a unit. I, I'm amazed at really the leadership group all over the world like this. It's a, uh, it's a powerful, powerful thing. Here's something else that's kind of cool. Uh, what I love about what we do. One of the things I love about what we do is what you guys on that side of the world, what you do enhances what everybody on this side of the world does. Plus what we do over here enhances what you do over there. It is a win, win, win kind of thing. And I would highly encourage you to participate personally in the mining. Okay. The, the, you got a chance to make, Far more money on that side, even than on the the building side. And so with all that said, uh, Stefan, I appreciate it. Aaron, Michael, Nigel, love you guys. Appreciate all the work that goes into this. And um, let's rock and roll. Thank you. Thank you, Steve, for your uh, time here with us today. And uh, yeah, I am sure that we will reach all our goals and beyond together. So, guys, thank you for uh, tonight's call. Thank you all for participating. I am personally extremely excited about where we are going, okay? And I wish you to be so with me. We will, from now on, we will keep... Uh, the next one will be actually on Tuesday, okay? The next call. And please, guys, take the advice... Uh, it's a lot happening in green. It's a lot happening in all the projects. Look at it to provide the opportunity for the people to get in right now at the good time. Because, you know, they are going up in price the nodes. You're mining less over time. Now is the time. So see you guys. Follow us on Telegram. Stay tuned for the new, uh, latest news and stay tuned for the next calls. Thank you for tonight. Have a nice evening. See you on the top.